Welcome to One PC to Rule Them All, the show where I give you full responsibility and authority to decide on every single aspect and component of my next PC build for 2019. Coming up, roll the intro. Hey Nim Tags and welcome, this is Ash from Heal My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Now, yesterday I gave you guys a poll and I asked you to decide on the title of the series. It looks like the internet has spoken and as you've guessed it, we're keeping it as one PC to rule them all series. The internet has spoken, at least about 50 of you, because we are small, we're very pathetic, but we'll get better hopefully. Now, what I thought to do today is to give you a full uh, overview and orientation of my system. If you don't know what I have, how would you decide what to upgrade or even if there is a need for upgrade? So we're gonna take a deep dive and I'm gonna leave this uncut. Uh, there's my computer down there. I'll take you and please do not comment on my cable management. Thank you very much. So first off, this is important. I am using one, two and three monitors and uh, you may think it's not relevant, but it will become relevant. These are 21.5 inch uh, BenQ monitor, 1080p. Do bear that in mind when it comes to deciding the next components, okay? Okay, so let's dive at the bottom. Starting off, we have the uh, Fractal Design R5 Black Pearl. This is a mid tower, a very good case. This is not the windowed version. I decided to get the full panel because of the placement of my desktop, it was under the table, it's actually usually pushed the other orientation, so I don't even need to see the window. So that also will be important in deciding upgrades, if there's an upgrade, okay? Right, moving on. Uh, what you can see spinning there is uh, Fractal Design's own 14 centimeter fan, okay? And in the front, behind this grill, there's also two fan spinning, okay? Right, we've got a DVD drive. Who uses this anymore, right? Uh, some people do. I've had a client who needed something on there, so I did it for them. Okay, right, moving on. Our power supply is a CX Corsair 750M. It's a uh, semi-modular power supply, okay? Which means some of the cables are already plugged in, like the 24 pin, the rest is not. And uh, the motherboard is an Asus Gaming Aura Pro 970 AM3 Plus, obviously. And it's housing an AMD FX 8350, like you know. To cool it, we've got the Beast, the classical Hyper 212 Evo from Cooler Master. I've got two sticks of RAM, 8 gigabyte. Uh, I think it's uh, DDR3 1866 uh, speed right, in dual configuration there. And uh, the graphics card is the Sapphire R9 380 four gigabyte DDR5. And for storage, I've got one, two, three, four, and five disks currently. This is an SSD, my OS, five, uh, 480 uh, gigabyte Toshiba. This is two terabyte. We've got one, two terabyte, two, two terabyte, and then uh, a only 320 terabyte. Sorry, only 320 gigabyte, and also a new disk of four terabyte for my um, one type of backup. Okay, so we've got all six SATA ports already used from the motherboard, which is connecting uh, these drives, including the DVD drive up there. And I think that's the tour of the PC. Now, I will probably still be leaving it down there and be working up here. I've also got a 40-inch TV connected there. So that's a fourth kind of monitor slash screen, but they don't all connect at the same time. And I've got another monitor here. So it's a fifth one, but this is currently connected to a small desktop here. And that's a very ugly looking bin. I'm going to leave that in the footage. We're real people, bro. Okay, so that's my setup. Now that you've seen my setup, I need to ask you the next question for today and you need to go to the community tab post, 
because I'll be posting the poll up there. Now, do I need to upgrade my computer? If you were in my situation, would you need to upgrade your computer? And a general question, when do you actually need to upgrade your computer? So let me know in the comment section below. Maybe there are other things I could do to prevent me from spending money and avoid a full upgrade because it is a pain in the bum. However, that will be up to you to decide for what I need to do. And of course, we'll discuss it in the next episode. As usual, you know what to do down below. Leave me a like, leave me a comment and subscribe. Enable the bell icon notification and share the video to others. And I will see you in the next one. This was Ash from Heal My Tech, helping you go from movie to techie. Until next time, peace out. Oh, <laughs>